October 10th, 2023 is right around the corner and you need to stop the end of support time bomb from going off. Now here's my Azure Migrate project and I've already completed the discovery phase and finished the replication of my on-prem VMs. Now testing is always recommended when you do a migration, especially when there's an OS upgrade because we need to verify that our apps are still all going to work on the new OS. So to do that, click on the overview and then on the left, you wanna to go to replicating machines. Now, once you've found the VM that you wanna test with, just click these three dots and then click on test migration. And at the top, you'll find the magic switch that we can use to pick our new OS. And you can select that from the dropdown. Now you can only upgrade two versions of an operating system through a process like this. So we cannot go from server 2012 to 2022 but I'm gonna show you exactly how we can do that in just a minute. And then you can see that the OS upgrade is configured. Then you need to pick your target subnet where the VM is going to live, then click test migration to start the process. Now what's gonna happen behind the scenes is a new VM will be created, attaching that original replicated disk. And then Azure Migrate is going to add an extension onto the VM. That extension is gonna have all the code and upgrade bits that it needs to push out the upgrade version to the operating system that you selected. Now to keep an eye on all of your progress, on the left, go to the jobs area, and you see here all the migration status for each task. And on average, the migration and OS upgrade together will be about an hour. Now once the migration job is successful, remote into the VM, do all of your testing, verify all your apps and functions and all of that stuff work. And when you're done with all the testing, back here in Azure Migrate, we want to go to the replicated machines again, find that exact VM, click the three dots, and then click clean up test migration. And that's going to delete the VM and all the other stuff that it deployed for your test. And you can even add some comments. Then you just check the box and start the cleanup process. And as long as the OS that you want to land on is in that drop down list, you're good to go. But now let's do the impossible. Let's go from 2012 all the way to 2022. And the method we're gonna use is listed in this doc, which is in the video description, and it's through something called a media drive. So what you would do is use the Azure Migrate like I just showed you to get as far as you can, and then you're gonna attach this media drive and we're gonna complete the OS upgrade from there. So here in your VM on the left, go to disks, then select your OS disk. At the top, we wanna to take a snapshot. This is gonna act as a quick backup just in case something goes wrong. Give your snapshot a name and make sure you're taking a full snapshot and then create. Now with that out of the way, back here in the dock, we wanna copy all of this PowerShell and then open your favorite text editor and paste. Now we wanna set the resource group and location. And if your VM is not in an availability zone, just leave this parameter alone. Then copy all that code again and back here in the Azure portal, right up there, you wanna click on the Cloud Shell. And this is an Azure PowerShell terminal opening right in the context of your subscription. So just right click here and paste as text, and then that'll work and spin up that new media disk for you in just a minute. Back in your virtual machine, you'll wanna go back to your disks and then click right over here and attach that new media drive. Then click save at the top. Now we remote back into your virtual machine and you've got a new disk mounted, which you should check out. And everything you need for the OS upgrade is staged right here. So let's open PowerShell, switch over to that drive and then type in this command, which is also linked in the video description, hit enter and then go get a cup of coffee. Once all that is done, then sign back in and test, make sure everything still works for all your apps and whatever else this server was doing for you. And then you can mark this upgrade from 2012 to 2022 complete. Then go back into Azure. You can delete your snapshot since we don't need that anymore. And then also go into your disks and detach the media drive. Now, since this media drive functions kind of like plugging in a server ISO, you can use this across multiple VMs to upgrade them all. And of course you can add a little bit more automation to this whole process by going to your extensions and adding a custom script extension. Drop all your code into a PowerShell file that you can feed into your VMs and automate it that way. Or you could go to the VM and on the left, scroll down to the run command, then go to the PowerShell section and just drop the code right in there. 
So special thanks to Server 2012 for its many years of service as file servers and domain controllers and you did remember to upgrade all of your file servers and domain controllers, right? Well, if not, you should check out these videos and happy learning.